Oh, uh, hello everybody, it's Pixie the Beaver here, back with another video. Today we're gonna do 5 free item templates just for you guys. Alright, so that was Beaver on the intro, but anyways, let's begin with the video. So to start things off, you need to download QuickTime for Windows. I'll leave a link in the Google Drive, so make sure you download this. Once you have that, you can head on over to the Google Drive and this is what you will see in the Google Drive. So I have everything downloaded. So we're gonna start off with After Effects KQ templates. So double click on here. And as you can see, you have three folders. So we have the fonts, make sure you install all of them. Then we have the ident previews, so you can see how they look like. And finally, we have the templates. So all of the ident templates work basically the same, but for this example, I'm gonna be showing you how to set up the second one. So you wanna open one of these ident templates. And once you have opened ident template, uh, the first thing you should see is this. So where you see name, this is what you will see. But if you don't see this, uh, head on over to render over here. Double click on this folder, double click on this, and this is where you can edit your name. So with the name, you wanna double click on this red layer. So double click on the name, backspace and change it to whatever you like. I'ma put clips for this example. And then you might want to change something like edited by, cause as you can see the name is covering the edited by. And to fix this, uh, what you wanna do is go to hide effects and then go to effect controls and disable this. But if you actually don't see the effect controls, uh, what you can do is go to window and then enable effect controls. So then this should pop up and you know, just go to effect controls and disable this for hide effects. Then you can go back to edit at by and just use your arrow keys. So I'm gonna be going up with my arrow keys and I'm gonna be placing it on the right side. So I'm now gonna hold right arrow and boom, here we have the edited by, you know, all aligned, all good. So now what you wanna do is go back to hide effects and check this box again. And once you have that, make sure everything looks nice. So as you can see, edited by is on the side over here and that looks fine. So now go to the folder called change color. Uh, if you don't see this once again, go back to render and change color. This is where you can change your color. So go to change color and go to effect controls. And as you can see, we have the color red. So if you click on the color red, um, you can use the slider and change it to any color you want. So I'm a want like purple. So I'm gonna put this to like blue or purple and then click OK. And this is how you change your color. Now let's say you wanna render it, just go back to render. And once you are in here, you wanna go to composition, add to render queue, and then go to output module. So click on this. And over here, we're gonna change some stuff. So format, you're gonna either use QuickTime or AVI, but in my opinion, QuickTime has a lower file size, so I'm gonna use that. Now for channels, you must use RGB plus alpha. Now, if, if this is like grayed out, uh, what you know do is go to format, click on AVI and change it to RGB plus alpha. And once you've done that, you can go back to QuickTime. So here you have RGB plus alpha. And finally, audio output. So this is if you want audio, but you're gonna go click over here and click off. But this is how my settings look like. I'm gonna click OK. And finally, I'm gonna click on here, which says output zoom. This is basically what your ident will save. So I have a folder over here called finished. I'm gonna, you know, save it over here. I'm gonna name it whatever I want. And finally, I'm gonna click render. So once the item finishes rendering, you'll hear a ding or whatever sound that was. But yeah, what you wanna do then is go to where you rendered your ident. So for me, it is over here. Now, before we drag it into Vegas Pro, you wanna do these steps. So go to options over here, go to preferences, go to video and make sure this is off, GPU acceleration off. Then go to deprecated features and where it says enable the QuickTime plugin, make sure it is ticked. Now before you tick this, make sure you have the QuickTime plugin installed already, but once you have everything done, you can click apply, click OK and then restart Vegas Pro. But yeah, once you restart your Vegas, you can go back to your, you know, items and then drag them onto Vegas Pro. If this prompts up, click no. And here we have the ident. And if you want to make it transparent, what you want to do is right click on it, properties, go to media and alpha channel, make sure it is set to pre-multiplied like this and then click OK. And then the ident will be transparent. That's about it with the After Effects idents. Now let's move on to the Vegas ident. So for the Vegas Pro ident, uh, what you want to do is go to your Vegas, go to file, new and click no or whatever. 
and you want to change some settings so make the width to 1920 and then the height to 1080 like this your frame rate set that to 30 and that's about it and every other setting like this should be like your own so of course resample mode disable motion blur type gaussian and full resolution rendering quality to best but anyways click ok and your new project file should be 1920 by 1080 30 fps but once that is done go to media generator and then just apply a text so go to titles and text and apply a text like this and you know once you have that you can then apply the two presets so there's either one or two i'm gonna be applying the first preset for this video so once you apply the preset it should look something like this as you can see it's all animated like that so what i'm gonna do is show you how to change the name and the font so you want to go to effects and go to bcc type on text now click on launch ui window and this will pop up so this is where you can change your you know font name or whatever so i'm gonna highlight over the text and change it to spixy like that and if you want to change the font highlight over the text again and the font i like to use is orbitron medium make sure you you know click on orbitron medium and once you have that you can click apply boom as you can see the ident name changes and everything like that and you can customize the ident yourself you can add like um sapphire glow you can add the race or whatever but once you're done customizing it you want to see where it ends so when you apply this ident your vegas pro might bug a little so you might need to just use these keyframes to see where it ends so for me it ends over here on these keyframes i'm gonna you know shrink it down to where it ends so now we're going to render out the ident so you want to highlight from here all the way to the start so we're gonna cover this amount and then what you want to do is go to file render as and this is where you follow the steps carefully so you want to make sure all the filters are off over here and you want to make sure you, you know you see all the formats so click on quicktime 7 and then click on any of these ones. So I'm gonna show you what settings you should put. So if you go to customize template, these are the settings you should copy. So make sure to put this at custom frame size and make this 1920 by 1080. Your frame rate is 30, um, video format animation, compressed depth 32 BPP color. Your quality is at 100, keyframe every 30 frames. Audio doesn't matter, um, streaming is fast start and project looks like this so make sure you copy all of these settings you might want to save it as well but anyways click ok um name it whatever you want so i'm gonna put this at ident test for good and i'm gonna click render so of course once the render is finished you can just drag that onto vegas pro and this is how it will look like so you want to right click on the ident go to properties go to media and alpha channel change this to pre-multiplied like this and click ok and if you zoom in as you can see the background turns transparent and that is basically it so this is how it looks like and yeah it looks pretty sick so hope you enjoyed this video but anyways this was pixie thanks so much for watching i'm out